Hello. <laughs> um, I was just talking about where my strange accent comes from. I guess it's predominantly Scottish um, because I was born in Scotland and lived here my whole life. But my parents are both incredibly English. Um, my mum is a Cockney, she's from Brixton in London, and she kind of sounds like, oh, hello, Susie. Um, and my dad is from Wiltshire in England, and he's incredibly well spoken and says things like, hello, nice to meet you. Um, and my school friends sound incredibly Scottish, and I'm not going to attempt to do that accent because it's a lot harder. Um, and what comes out is a voice that people often mistake for American or Australian. I've had someone accuse me of being from South Africa, <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, but it's just a, a squash of lots of different accents. And I'm originally from the Scottish borders, so it's very close to England anyway. So perhaps a bit of Geordie might creep in there as well, I'm not sure. Um, but I might talk about, because I've run out of things to say about accent, I might talk about my job now at the National Library of Scotland, uh, working in international collections with the famous Dora Petherbridge. You can't see her, I can. <laughs> um, and uh, I am the international collections assistant, and in September I'm putting together a small display about pulp fiction romanticising Scotland, which is a very fancy way of saying um, romantic fiction with incredibly dodgy covers. And uh, it's about, well, savage Scots being tamed by, um, I guess, not so savage ladies. Um, and. I've got, what I really wanted to find was some um, covers like this from the very early 20th century, but I think due to snobbishness we may not have collected these when they first came out, so now all I've got is recreations of them. I'm going to try and find an appropriate one. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, none of these, no, there we go, that's sort of. Nope, that's not really appropriate either. We can't look in there. Um, but I've also got the Highland Vampire, who is uh, also a Highland Savage. Um, the Scottish Highlands echo with legends of great battles, brave heroes, and hidden deep in the swirling mists, creatures that belong to the night. In this sensual new collection, meet three vampires whose Highland blood drums fierce and hot in their veins. Um, and yeah, that's, that's what my entire display is going to be. <laughs> and that's the best part of my job. I suppose I could talk about Star Trek as well. Next year, no, the year after 2016 is the um, 50 year anniversary of the uh, first airing of Star Trek in America. So we've got some really good Star Trek collections. Um, We've got fanzines published in Dundee that are just crudely drawn covers, hand-drawn covers, all stapled together. Um, because we collect everything, we took in a donation of those just in time for the anniversary. So we thought, why not make an exhibition about it? So looking further into the, into the collections, I realised that we also have a phaser, just because it comes with one little tiny um, instruction leaflet about it that means it's technically a book so because the book comes attached to this huge plastic phaser we've got that in the collection as well I've no idea where we keep it it sounds like there's space issues but uh, oh a pardon space issues yeah um, and we've got things like the Star Trek cookbook from the 1970s which has got some incredible drawings and really complicated recipes in it um, and we've got, oh, what else do we have? We've got Hamlet in Klingon which I think on the catalogue record it actually says this is the, ver the original version of Hamlet as it was meant to be told in its original Klingon so because it has that on the blurb on the back of the book we've put that on the catalogue record so it kind of looks like the National Library believes that the or original version of Hamlet was in Klingon 
And we've got um, The Trouble with Tribbles, a children's book, um, a very Klingon Christmas, a Christmas children's book. And my friend has got um, a, a Tribble, her, not a real one, but a, like a cuddly toy one. So I'm going to maybe ask if she wouldn't mind that we put that in an exhibition as well with just a little note saying, from Susie's friend. <laughs> Should I keep going? Is there any more? I've, I've run out of things to say. I'm going to wrap it up now. <laughs> I don't know how to, though. Um, it, was, it was very nice talking to you, dear reader, listener, <laughs> whoever I'm talking to. Um, and I hope that you've enjoyed my accent and my ramblings about the books that we have in the collection here. <laughs> Albeit not the most uh, unique or treasured items, we, we still collect them anyway.